What's up, YouTube? It's Bobby Lee RC here. How you guys today? Well, uh, I wanted to do a little segment today for you guys on how to break in your brushed RC motor. Um, once again, your brushed RC motor. Um, a lot of times when you get a new motor from the factory, all the coils on the inside there are full of dirt and grime and dust uh, from the factory where it's wound up and if they set for any time or whatnot. So I'm going to show you a little trick for, some, for your break-in. Um, it's not necessary. Uh, I do recommend it. It does improve the torque a little bit in your brushed motor, but uh, any improvement in a brushed motor is better than zero improvement. So what you're gonna need today, or what I'm gonna use today, this is the method that I've come up with um, that works the easiest. It's sometimes messy, but uh, it works. Um, a lot of guys recommend that you leave them in till the whole battery goes dead, this, that, and the other. Um, I leave it in 15, 20 seconds, change out the water, do it again. It should be just fine after that. Um, so what we're gonna do is, so we have, I did this one earlier today, and while I was doing this one, I was thinking, well, wow, that would, that would make a good video for everybody just to get the rundown of it, okay? So this is for the brushed motor. So what I have is I have a glass of clean water, big enough around in diameter that the motor will go down in there. I have a couple of different motors here. They aren't brand new, but they could definitely use a cleaning. About this one guys this is a flash from the past alrighty and then I also have a, a battery a nickel metal hydrate battery and I have some wire leads just two wire leads here guys and I have two alligator clips that I got off of an old charger that I had but you can pick these up at any hardware store for less than a buck probably so um, I'll show you the way that I use these in a second. So, um, you know what, let's just go ahead and do the, uh, the stinger motor. So we're going to clean this one out, guys. So this is the way that I set it up. I take my wires, I make a good point on the end of it, and I'll feed them into the little hole there. You see the little hole on the end of these bullet plugs? I'll feed it into that, bend the wire over, okay, there's your connection, and here's where your alligator clips come into handy, guys. Take your alligator clip, put it right on there. So now you have a connection that won't come loose, okay? Now this is, this is doing it with a one-man job, so, all right, so next you're going to take your negative. And you're going to feed that into the negative wire on your motor into the top of the bullet there you see that feed that in there fold it over okay so you got a good connection there alrighty all right guys so we got connections on our motor here now okay there you go all right motors are connected okay our leads are connected. So let's lay those out to make sure that they don't touch each other. That's not a pretty sight, guys. Um, now the way that I do this is I take the end of this wire and I just feed it in to the negative port, the negative, to the negative port on the battery plug here. Go ahead and make sure that's good and secure in there. Okay. Set that back off to the side. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky, guys. So, be very careful doing this. Your motor's going to get a little squirrely. And this is the reason why we do this. So we can have one free hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this plug and stick it into the positive of this battery thing here. Um, and when you do that, you may get a little spark. Don't be, don't be alarmed or anything like that. It's not gonna electrocute you, it's not gonna kill you. Um, but your motor's gonna take off, so it's gonna kinda give you a little bit of a, woo, what was that? So just be prepared for that, okay guys? So take one hand, 
place it on your motor. Take your other and put your lead into your positive. You hear that guys? That's the motor cutting on. Now I can hear inside of this motor is quite dirty. So we're gonna bring our clean glass of water over. We're gonna lift it up by our two leads just like this. And we're gonna slowly put this down into the water. Now it's gonna cause a little bit of ruckus, guys, and it's gonna split some water here and there. So you just let it run around in there, completely submerged. And you immediately start to see dirt and grime and dander and all that stuff come out. Let's see if I can lift this up so you can see. Now I'll, leave, I'll usually let this go for a couple of, like a minute or so. And then what I'll do is I'll take one hand, I'll hold this side down, grab the wire with my other fingers, release the alligator clip, bada bing, bada boom. That motor has been cleaned or broken in. So if it's an older used motor, we've just cleaned it. If it is a new motor, we just did a break in on it. Um, as you can see, the water's kind of milky and cloudy now. Um, guys, that is nothing compared to some of the stuff that I've seen come out of these motors. Um, so let's see if uh, that one's fairly clean. Let's see if we can get you one that's dirty that's going to make this all messy. So give me a second. Alright guys, my wife going to get my daughter off the bus. Wow, it's cool. I remember that. Anyways, so we have a clean glass of water here. We're going to pull out another motor. So let's go with this crawler motor that I have here. Remember guys, positive to the positive, negative to the negative. So before you hook up your second motor, if you're doing a couple of motors at, at one time, take your lead wire out of the positive on your battery. That way, when you're hooking your alligators back up, you're not gonna go all squirrely, okay? So remember, guys, take the end of that into the bullet hole there, fold it over, use your alligator clip, clip it down, okay? And then vice, you just do that right on the other side, Make sure your wire's got a little point on it. Stick it into the bullet hole. Fold it over. And you're going to clamp it with your alligator. So, once again, here you go. Alrighty. So, our positive is loose. We're going to stick that into the battery once we get ready for that. Let's get everything ready. Everything's laid out and it's ready to dip, be dipped into the into the glass of water here. So let's bring in our glass of water. It's a glass of clean water again, guys. Let's see if I can put this to where you can see it a little bit better this time. You're gonna lose me and get the glass of water, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, uh, so here we have that. Okay, guys, now what are we gonna do? We're gonna stick this positive into this battery and like I said it's going to get a little squirrely on you um, don't worry about it take, take one hand place it on the motor take your other put it into the lead Houston we have a problem hmm What seems to be the boggle here, buddy? Okay, something's not plugged in right. All right, guys, there's the thing. You got to be careful, guys. Make sure things are correct before you get to going too fast. I may be a little overreacted here, just trying to get you guys a good video. So let's just make sure all of our connections are good. 
sure they're all good and tight. And let's give it another whirl. How about that, guys? So we're gonna take the positive and stick it into the positive feed on the battery here. Okay, so it's going now. You hear it? We're gonna pick it up without touching the clamps together. Okay, and we're gonna dip it. And we're gonna see what we get here. Guys, these motors are pretty clean. We're not getting any kind of dirty water like I expected. So once again, just one-handed. Hold your wire with, one, with the fingers and undo your banana clip or your alligator clip. Bada bing, bada boom. So guys, ooh, I just touched them. That's how you uh, clean your batteries or you break in your, I'm sorry. That is how you clean your motor or break it in for the first time. If you have any questions or concerns, drop a message below. Hit the subscribe button up above or down below. Like and share. And as always, have a good one.